Hey everyone, welcome back. Let's install our lead screws and get this machine ready for its electronics. To start out, we will install our Y-axis lead screw. You will need one thrust bearing, two 688Z bearings, three 8mm locking collars, and a lead screw that is 1057mm long or longer depending on your machine. Slide the lead screw through the front of your machine and slide on your first 688Z bearing, then a locking collar. You can now thread the lead screw through the nut block on the Y gantry. This should go through relatively easily. If you have any binding, make sure to loosen the screws on the nut blocks. Once you're through, put on another locking collar and then your last 688Z bearing. Then continue to thread until your lead screw protrudes through the back plate. On the back of the machine we can install our thrust bearing and then another locking collar. Allow for roughly 11mm stick out of the lead screw from the locking collar for the coupler to clamp onto. Then tighten down the locking collar to hold this in place. Moving to the front of the machine, you will need one thrust bearing, one 8mm locking collar, and your tensioning tool. Slide the thrust bearing onto the lead screw, and then the locking collar. While you're doing that, you can move your 688 bearing into place to make sure that the lead screw is centered. You can now thread your tensioning tool onto the lead screw and apply some tension. You may need to use an Allen key at the other end of the machine in the locking collar to stop the lead screw from rotating while you tension. Using no more than two fingers tension, tighten down the locking collar to hold this in place. Now you can move to the inside locking collar. This collar is just to retain the bearing, so it doesn't need to be pressed too tight. Repeat the same steps for the back of the machine. Now tighten down the screws going to your nut blocks. A common mistake here is trying to apply pressure to the nut blocks when tightening these. This is not necessary to remove backlash. Confirm that there is no play in the axis and then move to the back of the machine. Here you're going to need one NEMA 23 motor, one coupler, four 40mm aluminium spacers, four 6mm aluminium spacers and four M5 55mm low profile screws. Slide one 55mm screw through the motor and install a 6mm spacer, then a 40mm spacer. Now place your coupler onto the lead screw and tighten down your 55mm screw a few turns. Proceed with the next three screws in the same way. Once you have them all threaded, you can tighten them all the way down.
We can now tighten down the coupler. Start with the set screw on the motor shaft. Make sure you tighten it down to the flat spot on the motor shaft. Then tighten down the outer M3 screws and lastly tighten the set screw onto the lead screw. Go ahead and repeat the exact same process on the other side of the machine, then continue the video from here. Okay, now that we have installed the lead screw onto both Y-axis rails, you are ready to install your X-axis lead screw. The process is pretty much the same. Start by sliding your lead screw through the side of the machine and install one 688Z bearing and one locking collar. Then thread it through the nut blocks in the X-axis assembly. Again, if it's binding, loosen the nut block screws. Once you're at the other side, install a locking collar and another 688Z bearing. Then continue to thread until the screw protrudes at the other Y plate. Pick the side that you want to install your motor on. I'm choosing the right hand side. Now install your thrust bearing and then your locking collar, leaving 11mm stick out after the locking collar for the coupler. Back over to the other side of the machine you can install another thrust bearing and another locking collar. Then thread your tensioning tool on, apply two fingers of tension and then tighten down your locking collar. You can now remove your tensioning tool. On the inside, make sure your bearing is in its recess and tighten your locking collar against it to retain its position. Repeat the same steps on the other side. We can now tighten down our nut blocks and check that there is no play. On the side that you chose for your motor, thread a 55mm screw through the motor and slide on a 6mm then a 40mm aluminium spacer. 
Before threading the screw, place the coupler onto the lead screw. Now thread your screw a few turns and install the other three before you tighten them down. Once they're all tightened down, we can tighten our coupler. Start with the set screw onto the flat spot of the motor shaft as before, then tighten the two outer M3 screws, and lastly the set screw onto the lead screw. Now we can mate our Z assembly to our X axis. For this we will need the Z assembly we built in the last video and four M5 20mm cap head screws. Load a screw up and hold the assembly with the other hand while you thread the screw a few turns. Repeat for the other three screws and then tighten them down. Thanks again for watching, stay tuned as we dive into some electronics and controllers as well as commissioning the machine along with some setup tips to get you going.